What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going, smash my like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. And don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want to, if you could, please too join the channel for access to exclusive content and also to be able to help um, support the channel monetarily. And then don't forget um, that that we live, like I said, Monday nights now, um, 7:30 p.m. Central Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And today, Tony Harris and chasing Jamel Charlo. Yeah, he said he want that third fight. He said we won and won. We won and won, bro. We got to run it back. This is what he had to say. So um, he says, I looked at it like I never want to see no athlete get injured. But it happens with us in the physical sport that we're in. Everybody know damn well that's the fight I'm chasing. Talking about Jamel Charlo. To be honest, that's the goal. Right now, I still got all my senses. I'm still able to talk to my kids and talk rationally. One punch can change everything. For me to become undisputed and for me to start this journey that A.B., um, Alicia Bumgarner, just became, I don't think there's nothing else for me to do. That's a nightmare I got to live with, um, and he's talking about him getting knocked out. That's the reason I'm chasing that fight. So for me, he got injured, and I said, you know what, me as a fighter, I'll take the spot. I've already been chasing uh, Jamel, so I would have fought whoever I need to fight to get that fight. Until I get that fight, that's a nightmare I have to live with because I'm beating myself up. If my head wasn't so big, I could make 147 uh, easy. God gave me a massive head, though. My head is so big, and I've got all the weight in it. I probably could make 147. My eating habits and discipline is very tacked. I don't plan on moving up to 160, so when Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford get there, I'll probably be there. I think that that's an amazing fight. I truly commend those guys for making a fight like that. He's talking about um, Spence and Keith Thurman, blah, blah, blah. Let me see him talking about Charlo. Uh, so for me to jump. Okay, here we go. And, and then he says, so for me to jump the line, to be able to fight somebody he fought, somebody that has a similar style to somebody that I just fought, it was a no-brainer for me. So he he really is fighting your boy, um, Tim Zoo, so he can get to Jamel Charlo. Is that good or bad? It's great, bro. It's great. Honestly, Tony Harrison is... Is a guy that you ain't never seen Al box before. You don't seen him lose because his conditioning and his his chin fails him sometimes. But as far as being Al box, he a master class boxer, man. Great feet, outstanding jab, nice long reach. When his defense is on, he can be defensively very sound. But sometimes that length and that height, he get that chin caught up in the air. He get tired. He can get caught. Now I think it might be. Now, I could be dead wrong. I think the ship might have sailed on him and Charlo in terms of him having a chance to win because I see Charlo going like this, and I see Harrison coming down like this right now. I think Harrison has been a phenomenal trainer for Alicia Baumgartner, but when you got so many irons in the fire and you focusing on two different things, like Jamel Charlo ain't doing that. He just fighting, and he's been far more active than Harrison, and he's been fighting far tougher competition. Harrison came back and, and got a draw with um damn the dude name, man. Ah Perella, Perelta, Perella or something, but got a draw with him. Then he looked good against Garcia, but he ain't been fighting. Tim Zoo gonna be the first one he fighting on that level to let us know whether or not Tony Harrison is still truly Tony Harrison. And he gotta go over to Australia to do it. That's tough right there. That's gonna be that's that's a tough one right there. Meanwhile, um Jamel Charlo. Since defeating Tony Harrison. I mean, he's been in there with Castano twice, bro. He was about to get in there with Tim Zoo, but he been fighting the upper, 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 upper echelon of 154 pounds, bro. He got in there with Rosario when Rosario was wrecking shit. So he just, he done went here, man. And, 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 and Harrison done went down there. And then the Charlo that showed up and fought Castano in the second fight, the one that was much more active, the one that went to the body more. And had a higher work rate, he gonna give Tony Harrison everything he wanted. They fight, bro. But I commend Harrison because if you're looking at the landscape of 154 pounds, 
there ain't much left for Jamel Charlo, so I'm glad Harrison is putting his hat in the ring. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come back and become two-time world champion, you want to be un you want undisputed or whatever, you got to knock off somebody that's right there in your way, and Tim Zoo is right there in his way. And then if he was to beat Tim Zoo, what you thinking? Like a Tony Harrison, Jamel Charlo fighter, Jamel Charlo versus um Sebastian Fundor. We all know we would prefer the um the Charlo and, and Harrison fight. And Harrison by going and fighting Tim Zhu for the WBO mandatory spot instead of fighting WBC interim champion Sebastian Fundora, he's putting himself first in line. So if he beats Tim Zhu, Charlo got to fight him or vacate. And we all know how Charlo get down. He ain't ducking no wreck. He ain't ducking no fade, no smoke whatsoever. So he'll fight Tony Harrison. And I'm sure Charlo in the back of his head is 1-1 for him too. Like, yeah, bro, you can say you felt like you won the first fight. You did this, you did that. Look, man, you will lose. You lost the first fight. And then in the second fight, Harrison had a whole lot of success against you. Whole lot of success. As a matter of fact, he might have been up on the scorecard. Let's see. I think he was up on the scorecards. Let's take a gander, bro. And let's see what, what, what them scorecards were looking like. He was up on one scorecard. They had him down on the other, other two. But Tony Harrison was very much in that fight, bro, and doing a damn good job before uh, Jamel Charlo stopped. So you got you to gotta, you gotta let people know that, you know what I'm saying, you that dude, that you ain't leaving no stone unturned. And if you're going to stay at 154 and you Jamel Charlo, you're running out of options. He done damn near beat everybody. The only names you can think of is Tony Harrison, Sebastian Fundora, and then Spence coming up to 154. But Spence, I mean, but Charlo said he don't want to fight Spence. He said that his brother, he don't want to fight him. And I'm sure he don't because he don't want to have to be the one to leave Derrick Jane because we all know what would happen, bro. We all know that if Earl Spence and Jamel Charlo fight, we know who corner Derrick going to be in. We already know that. We know who corner he going to be in, Earl Spence Jr. So... Jamel ain't trying to have to find a whole nother coach, and that'll be the biggest, hardest fight of his career. It's only Tony Harrison and Sebastian Fundora, but everybody else, in some form or fashion, he done already handled them, bro. Rosario done retired. He already starts Erickson Lugan. He beat Harrison, but at least Harrison beat him too, so they won and won. He beat Brian Castano. It's just the winner of Harrison and um, Tim Zhu or for Sebastian Fundora, bro. That's it. That's all. Now, Jesus Ramos is about to fight Joey Spencer. Jesus Ramos still a prospect, though. That ain't a big enough fight. And Charlo need that bag, bro. He a champion, undisputed champion. He need that bag. And the only thing that's going to get him that bag is Harrison or Fundora, possibly, if Fundora looks impressive in his next fight. Can't wait to see who he's going to fight at 154 pounds. But overall, man, I like what Tony Harrison head is at in terms of what his goals and aspirations are. I just know you got to give your all to this boxing shit, though. And no matter how disciplined he thinks he, he is, it's extremely hard for you to be able to train a fighter and be a great trainer while also being an active world-class, world champion level fighter yourself at the same time, bro. And that's what he's attempting to do. By training Alicia Baumgartner, one of the um, best female boxers in boxing, and at the same time trying to find his way back to Charlo by way of going to Australia to fight Tim Zhu. Salute to him for doing it. Um, you know, much respect to him. He ain't just saying that he want to fight. He's putting forth the steps and taking the actions to go get the fight that he claimed he want. And so you can't do nothing but to respect that. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Tony Harrison chasing Jamel Charlo. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, man. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, you can hit my email up. That's knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Don't forget that we go live Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We also live on Monday nights, so I'll be live tonight. Monday nights now, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And then I'm live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Don't forget to join the channel for exclusive content and become a member so you can help the, um, support the channel. And then also, um, you know, just, just keep hitting that like button for your boy, man. But that's really all we got in this video. Appreciate y'all watching. And with that, 
We out of here. Peace out, y'all.